Hello, my name is Osman Fire, and hi, <laughs> welcome. Hi, I, I'm, I just want to talk. Really, that's that's just what I want to do right now. I just, I just want to talk because I have a lot on my mind, and it, I think it directly affects this channel, affects my Twitch channel, and it affects my life at large. And I just, I just want to talk about things because I'm just so tired. All right, so I'm going to stop hitting my desk, or I'm going to try to remember not to hit my desk because I know that reverberates through the arm my microphone is currently on. I still can't believe I'm still using this microphone after like eight years, seven years, something like that. I used this microphone a long while ago, and it's still working just fine. Anyway, so I had originally planned on like doing a live stream today. Not that I'm sure, not that I'm particularly sure if anyone on this end actually ever watches those, but, you know, it's, that's fine, you know, it's whatever. But, I just couldn't really, I just found, ugh. but I just found that I couldn't, like, bring myself to do it. Um, it was just, it was just one of those things where it was just, like, I guess it's like I'm not, in, like, in a very good mood right now, and I just, like, I just couldn't, like, find it in me to actually, like, stream today. And I guess it's just because, for like the past, you know, for the past week, week and a half-ish, I've basically been on vacation, and I've been distracted by things on the floor, don't mind me. Um, but I've been on vacation for like the past nine days, and I go back to work tomorrow, and I just find myself in a position that I just, I really don't want to go back to work. I mean, don't get me wrong, of course, I'm not an idiot who thinks that you shouldn't work or that you shouldn't, like, work for a living or whatever. I, that's, I think that's all stupid nonsense. And yes, obviously you should do something productive with your life in order to actually live your life. Um, you know, there's, there's, I think, you know, not to get too, too much into current affairs and everything, but, you know, I think there's way too many people out there who think they should be should be able to get by in life but doing absolutely nothing with themselves. And I just, I think that's actually, I obviously think that's ridiculous. Um, but at the same time, I'm so tired of going back to Walmart. I'm so tired of retail. I'm tired of a lot of things, but I'm tired of Walmart and I'm tired of retail. And I really wish that I could do something else. I mean, honest to goodness, I've been trying to do something else for years now, you know, because, of course, I had a YouTube channel on the side, and for those of you who aren't, like, wholly aware, because I don't really bring it up too much, I also did a, little, I also did a lot of, uh, a lot of sort of, you know, like, casual political commentary on the side, like, nothing, like, on, like, a show or anything, it's just writing stuff and doing a podcast for a while, you know, I did stuff like that, and, um, and, of course, now I'm doing Twitch, and... I just find myself in a position where I'm just thinking about, like, you know, because if you don't know, my birthday was last Wednesday, and I'm now 32 years old, and I'm just thinking about the fact that my life really is kind of, like, has gone nowhere and is going nowhere, and honest to goodness, that's really kind of bothering me. It, it's bothering me a lot, because I'm really tired of it, and I'm really, t but I'm also really tired of the fact that, like, all the things I've tried to do in my life, um... Like, all the things I've tried to do in my life over the years really seem to have amounted to nothing, you know? All this writing doesn't matter because I can't do anything, you know, productive with it. You know, the YouTube channel doesn't matter because it's stagnated and I haven't been able to do anything productive with it. I wouldn't say the same with Twitch, but, you know, Twitch is slow going right now, so it's, you know, it's not really going anywhere at the moment. But I'm not going to say that nothing came of it, and I mean, theoretically, anything could come of anything at any given time. It's just... I'm not in a position where I can make anything. But as far as I, you know, as far as I know, I mean, maybe there's something I could do, but... I don't know. I, I guess it's... It... I think one of the things that really kind of bothers me the most is that... For the longest time, I've wanted to try to do something on my own merits. Something under my own power. You know, something that I could... I could do successfully... That isn't dependent on other people doing something right or doing something doing something for me or whatever. You know, not dependent on a manager or dependent on co-workers or whatever. But something that is like just something I can do in my own right 
without having to worry about other people, you know, screwing it up. Because Lord knows, you know, that's basically what my job at Walmart's been for the past four years. You know, trying to, you know, I'm not, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm like the best worker there. But I try to do things right and I try to do it thoroughly and I try to make sure that work gets done in the best way possible when I'm there. And then I'll leave and it just all gets undone. And that's just been going on for years now, basically. And I'm just so tired of it. I'm so tired of being in a position where... Um, I'm, I'm tired of being in a position where I can't... I don't mean like a, like a, like a literal position at Walmart, but I just mean in a position where I can't... I feel like I can't do anything about it. You know? I mean, people keep saying, well, you should find another job. But I mean, I mean, part of this is my problem because I don't drive and that causes issues. And that causes compounding issues because I can't just go and get another job. But the thing about it is that I also just, I don't want to move from one dead-end job to another dead-end job to another dead-end job. I want to do something that means something. And I don't mean, like, I want to change the world. That's, that's silly. That's the silly dreams of children. You know, children like to change the world, and sometimes they do. But it's very rare. Very, very rare. Um, but I just want to do something that means something to me and theoretically could mean something to you as well. Whether I entertain you or make you think, make you laugh, you know, it's like that, and that's part of the reason that I kind of like got into the YouTube thing and then, you know, I did the Twitch thing and did that whole political commentary thing. And I mean, I'm not opposed to keeping doing that. I kind of still do, but it's just in the grand scheme of things, the reason I do this stuff is that I want to do something that actually means something. I don't want to be you know, as some sort of, I don't want to be some sort of retail service worker for the rest of my life. And I'm so tired of it. I'm, I'm tired of holding that position in my life because it's just, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, I know I make customers smile occasionally. I know I make, I know, I know I improve the days of at least some of my coworkers, but it's not, it's not universal and it drains, and it drains me to do that sort of thing. And it very much would, and I don't really, I don't really know what I'm trying to say here. I mean, it's a lot of it's just, a lot of it's just venting. Don't get me, you know, they don't, don't take it, don't take it for more than what it is. This is a lot, this is a lot of it's just, a lot of this is just venting. Because there's a lot of stuff that's been on my mind and I don't really have anyone to, like, talk to about it. I mean, I do, but I also don't. Because I don't talk about myself all that often. You know, especially people that I know. And I know a lot of people. It's just... There's not a lot of people that I feel particularly close with, and actually, this almost feels this almost feels too personal. But if I don't talk about it, then I will literally go insane not talking about it. Um, you know, you know, I mean, that's the thing. You know, it's like it's hard to get me talking in the first place when I'm talking to people that I trust, and it's just it's 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 a very difficult spot to be in. I feel like I just feel like I'm in a very difficult spot because I don't. I don't open up that easily or that quickly or that easily, I guess you could say, you know? Um, and I'm just, I'm just, I just, I just trying to think of the words that I want to say here. Okay, I don't really know what I'm asking for. I mean, I guess on some level I do, because on some level I'm asking that you know, that people help me, in it, I guess. You know? Because the simple fact of the matter is the thing the thing I kind of I not really want to do because that feels like it's almost too dramatic. But the thing I want to do is I just want to spend a little bit of time kind of being my own boss. You know, I want to you know, I want to be you know, I want to I want to just spend a little time doing things that I actually enjoy, that I actually think are good, and that actually make things that people can actually enjoy, and and I can't do that right now. You know, I mean, part of the reason YouTube, it's, 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 it, you know, in addition to the fact that you know YouTube kind of like kind of faltered because it stagnated. Once I like hit like 710 subscribers, like it just st I just hard stagnated and just never grew after that, despite the fact that I was continually producing content for a while. 
um, after that after that milestone. Um, but it's also because YouTube takes too much time, and I had to stop. And I'm part of a big part of the reason that I stopped doing it on a consistent basis because it just takes way too much time to do YouTube. It takes too much time to edit the videos and record them on top of that and upload. It's just it's too much. Um, and it's part of the reason I started streaming, of course, because streaming is easier than YouTubing. But it's hard to get any traction. It's, it's very difficult to get traction. Um, you know, when you kind of don't... I don't even know. I, I actually don't even know. I don't even know how to get traction. I've never known how to do... A, I've never known how to do a lot of things, you know. I've, I've always been kind of... When it comes to all my, like, personal projects, I've always kind of flown by the seat of my pants. And it's always come out with middling results because I don't... If I don't have like a firm foundation to kind of start and to progress, then what ends up happening is that I kind of just flounder a lot because I don't really know how to figure things out that I don't know in the first place. You know, and you know, and looking it up doesn't necessarily help me either because it doesn't necessarily tell me what I should do personally. And I mean, and that's been a, and that's been a big part of like the difficulties that I've always exper that I've experienced over the years of having this channel and having a Twitch channel and doing everything else, it's just, I'm kind of just figuring it out on my own. And sometimes it's really successful. The fact that I live in this apartment, that was that was literally me figuring out how to do something without really knowing how to do the thing. Um, you know, I, I, I cause when, when I got this apartment, I had never had to hunt for my own place to live on my own before. It was, so, it was something that was, it was, and it was something that was kind of foreign to me. It was not something I had ever had to do before. It was something I didn't have any experience in doing. And I kind of figured it out. But it was also kind of easy to figure out because it was something that, you know, billions of people have done in, you know, done before, finding a place to live, finding a plot of land. You know, it, it, you know, the, the, mechanism, the mechanisms may change, but it's fundamentally a part of the human condition. Why do I keep getting things on my phone. Shut up. Anyway, um, but, you know, so I think on some level that made it easier, but I feel like when it comes to a lot of the things I like to do and trying to do something meaningful with them, it's, it's, it almost feels like more than I can, I can handle. But the thing is that I don't want to be stuck where I am anymore. You know, I don't want to be stuck in a dead-end retail job. I don't want to go to another dead-end retail job or some warehouse job or some other job where I'm constrained by a schedule and... Well, I mean, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that kind of constraint. I'm not saying that scheduling is wrong or that the sort of discipline that enforces is wrong. But what I'm saying is that, for example, I work at from like 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's a really early time to be up. I can't really do anything meaningful working a schedule like that. You know, I'm not up in the evenings when I might feel like I'm, or where I might feel a little more productive, or might be more, or it might be a more opportune time to stream. You know, I'm not on when I, I'm not online when I want to be online. You know, things like that. You know, I, I can't. You know, and that's just that's just one example, you know, but I don't want to feel like I'm constrained by other people's needs and expectations. I want to be able to set my own expectations for my own success, I guess. That's not really the way I want to phrase that, but I think it conveys the meaning. And at the moment, I feel like I can't do that. And I legitimately... I legitimately want to, like, have a chance to do something different. To, and that to actually feel like that something different means something. It's not just like YouTube, which is just this extraordinarily time-consuming hobby, you know, that eventually gets subsumed by the fact that all my energy is going into my job rather than my hobby, and, I, and the hobby dies. I don't want the hobby to die. I don't want Twitch to die. I don't want this channel to die. You know, I want to I wanna get back... I want to make videos here again. You know, I want to finish making my Final Fantasy XIV videos. I, I want to go back to making like those Final Fantasy XI videos. I want to spend more time doing those book reviews. I want to read more books and review more books. You know, um, I know. I mean, I know I'm not the most like telegenic kind of individual out there. You know, and that's thanks desktop notification. Really appreciate, big preach. 
Um, you know, I know I'm not like the most compelling individual on the planet. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know that I'm not always the most entertaining person. I know I lose my train of thought a lot. I know that I don't. Op I know that I don't operate the script a lot, and that sometimes like really gets in my way of making like a coherent, cohesive video. But I also feel like if I didn't do videos like this, it also wouldn't be nearly as organic or natural. But... At the same time, you know, it's like I want to get back to doing things. I also don't want, like, say, Twitch to die. You know, Twitch is slow and it's quiet most of the time. And I don't... And I only have a little bit of support from, you know, a handful of peop a handful of friends. Most of them I've known for years, you know. It it's like I want to break out beyond that. I want to have an opportunity to break out beyond that. I don't want to just be constrained into being what almost feels like a robot. You know? I want to be more than that. I guess what I'm saying is ultimately, I need help for that. I need support for that. And I need you know, I need people to not just say, all right, good luck, and then just completely ignore it. But it's like when I share it, you know, it's like when I share the link to, you know, if, if possible, share the link somewhere else. No, I don't have to do it every day. You don't have to do it more than even once. But, you know, just like share it, you know, like on a Discord or Twitter or Facebook. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying, of course, that you have to do that either, you know, just or, maybe you know, just show up maybe. Say a little something in chat or leave a comment on a video. Leave a like on a video. You know, leave, you know, but... I just, I want to feel like I can actually do something, something more. And right now I'm not in that position. Right now I just, and I just, I just want a little more, I guess, you know? I mean, I don't, I don't want to become, I don't need to become some wild, uh, I don't need to become some wildly successful streamer or, you know, or become the biggest YouTuber on the planet. I'm not. You know, I don't look to become the, the next Markiplier or something, you know. I just, it'd be nice if I could just spend, like, even, like, a, just, a, just a little, just like a year or something. Just doing my own thing. Seeing if I can push myself to be more disciplined on my own. Not being constrained into someone else's schedule, but discipline myself to do more. To be consistent. To, you know, to be, to be reliable for myself, you know. You know, I want to, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice if I could just kind of step out for just a little bit. Just step out and, and just, and just live a little. Because I don't feel like I live. And part of the reason I don't feel like I live, and I know this for a fact, is because, is because of the, because of working. Um, because, because my job takes all that energy that I might have to do other things. Not that I do a lot in the first place, don't, don't bear in mind, but because my job takes all that energy, takes all the energy I would otherwise use to maybe do other things, I definitely do nothing. Because I'm not like a high energy individual. I'm, I'm very, this is kind of like my normal mood. You know, I'm like, like you might see me and I might get excited or I might be very jokey or whatever, but that also takes energy from me as well. And when you have the job taking the bulk of your energy, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter if you have all this other energy because it's all gone, you know? But anyway, I, I definitely feel like I've just rambled for the past 20 minutes. I kind of have, but I just, I wanted to make this video just because it's, it feels better to make the video than to not make the video. And it also means that I did something productive today when I, when I, since I opted not to really stream today because I don't think I was in a, in a mood to stream. But, anyway, um, I feel like that was a good, I, I, <laughs> I feel like this video was completely incoherent. I don't know if I actually conveyed anything I wanted to say in it. Um, I hope I did. I mean, I, I mean, I definitely said the things I wanted to say, but I don't know if I said them in a way that makes complete sense. Um, But what I do know is that, is that my monitor is slowly sliding off the back of my desk. What in the world? Anyway, sorry, I, I got a, a, a tad distracted there. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe something will come of this, maybe something won't. On some level, I almost wanted my, you know, 
I, I just want to like just do something different because it just it will just I'll feel better you know I'm tired of being tired I'm tired of being unhappy and angry and frustrated all the time and it'd be nice to change the pace there a little bit but anyway thank you for watching um I don't I know I, I feel like the last time I, the last time I did a video like this was when my father passed away actually last year isn't it but yeah so thank you for watching I, I'm I'm still kind of meandering I don't know how to I never I've never figured out how to finish a video or finish a live stream or anything um it's usually easier when I bounce off of another person but obviously I can't do that when I'm speaking alone so yeah thanks thanks for listening I I appreciate it until next time everybody <laughs>